What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. So happy to see you here. Today is a great day. Yesterday went and finally got a haircut after two months or so, so that's awesome. We are finally caught up on orders and we are heading to the farm. I am heading to the farm to plant some food plots. So we just got fuel for the tractor. We are going to pick up some fertilizer right now. We're not gonna be putting seed in the ground today. We're gonna to be doing that tomorrow. And then the following day, it's supposed to rain. So this should work out perfectly as long as the weatherman is not lying, which he often does. So here we go. is loaded up and we are rolling out We have arrived. Make sure the tractor's got plenty of fuel. And we're gonna get to mowing first. Uh oh. Yep, see that? That is a problem. Uh oh. Mm-hmm. Broke. Crap. Oh yeah, purse like a kid. Mowing's done, we gotta drop the bush hog and hook up the tiller. They like to put up a fight, usually this is a two person job, hopefully I can manage it by myself. We'll see, we don't give up that easy. Easy enough. That was the easy part though. Now we gotta hook up the tiller. This one usually gives me a fit. Keep 
turning the grass in the dirt. Get everything mowed and tilled. Tomorrow, we're gonna put the fertilizer down and the seed, and then cross our fingers for rain. Oh, all right, time for day two. We got to go plow the top field, and then we are gonna hook up the spreader, spread all that fertilizer, and then put the seed down. And that's it. Sounds easy enough, right? We'll see how it turns out. So, we'll see how this goes. It put up a little bit of a fight, but we always win in the end. So we'll fill it up with fertilizer, spread it all over everything. The first field that we're gonna fertilize is one acre. We're doing 300 pounds per acre, so we're gonna put six bags in. We gotta make sure the flap is closed. Okay, we've ran into a bit of a snag. So the PTO spins this, and then there's a pin that goes through this that connects the plate to the shaft. And that pin is sheared. And I don't really have any pins that size with me, so this is a handle off a five gallon bucket that I've cut. And I don't know if it's gonna work or not. I don't know, I don't know why it wouldn't. There's not a terrible amount of force on it but it sheared the pin the first time for whatever reason so I'm not super hopeful but I guess we'll see let's try it it's on there it's spinning all right, fixed for now. Fertilizer is done. I don't think 
that are fixed. Actually, fixed. Yeah, it came out. It spins freely, but there was enough friction between the shaft and this uh, spreader plate that it spun anyways when I cranked her all the way up. So, it did all right. Not perfect, but got to make do with what you got. So now, I think it's lunchtime. And I'm excited about lunchtime. So we got the jet boil, and I gotta decide between beef pasta marinara and beef stroganoff. Oh wait, is there, we got some more in here? There's the coffee, I can always make coffee. Chicken fried rice, oh, these are gone, I already ate those. Okay, fake news, beef pasta marinara or beef stroganoff? I'm going with beef pasta marinara. So, take that, jet boil, I'll go to the other side and get the water. We're gonna have us a splendid lunch. And we'll go in here to the barn. This barn's kind of scary. It's gonna fall down one of these days, as you can see. It's not super sound, but for lunch today, it's gonna work just fine. Okay, so we get the jet boil. This is like my favorite part. These meals are so dang good. And I don't know if it's because I really enjoy the process or because they're actually that good, but I just really, really enjoy them. So we need, for this guy, 10 ounces of water. The table's a little crooked. Come on. Guys, we're waiting on the water to boil. A little latte action. Oh man, that's cold. And we got boiling water. And then I guess while we're waiting, we'll enjoy our latte and go check out what we got going on. We've done a lot of work here the last couple days. The ground is looking great. It's tilled, it's fertilized, now all we gotta do is get the seed put out. And then my next dilemma is we need to drag it with something after the seed's out. And I don't have a proper thing for doing that. So we're gonna have to rig something up. And I think uh, we just gotta pull something behind the four wheeler that will turn the soil over just a little bit. We want the, the, uh, we want the clover and stuff to be like a quarter inch under the dirt. So we just need to kind of disturb the top of the dirt once the seed's down. And I think that these old four-wheeler ramps are gonna do the trick. We can we can rig something up with these guys. But we'll fool with that after we have our beef pasta marinara. Mmm. Oh god, that's good. You know, there's all these people out there that are Oh my God, I can't believe you drink Bush Light. What are you, your college? No, have you ever tasted the stuff? It's not the nectar of the gods for no reason. This is the only beer in the world, as far as I'm concerned. Mmm, man, that's good. Okay, it's been 10 minutes-ish. That is what we got, beef, pasta, marinara. Look at this stuff. I mean, this, take a gander at that. That is good stuff. Mm. And I don't know if I enjoy it so much because of the process or because they're actually that good, but I look for any excuse to eat one of these. Wow, that was good. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is spread seed. And we're gonna use the four-wheeler and that cedar rather than the tractor because the tractor cedar is really big and we're planting clover and if you ever planted clover the seeds are really 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 small and we don't want to spread them all out in the first like 20 feet so we're going to use this spreader that way we have a little bit more control over it so gonna get four wheeler unloaded spreader hooked up and we're ready to go
Okay, this next part is gonna take a little bit of a redneck engineering. We've gotta drag the ground. I've driven over it a bunch of times, fertilizing and seeding and whatnot. So we need to drag something over the ground to just break it up and kind of cover everything up a little bit. Check out this masterpiece. So we've got two sections of four wheeler ramp hooked together with a chain, ratchet strapped to the back of the four wheeler. So this is gonna give us some dragging, then the chain will do some work and then it'll get finished off by this back ramp. So now we gotta see if it works. got a tire strapped onto here. We should be golden. We got her done. Four wheelers loaded up, tractors put away. We are hitting the road. Oh, drop my phone on the ground. I wonder how far I would have got down the road before I realized that. But thanks for watching, guys. So glad you followed along with us. And if you made it this far in the video, thanks a million. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. And we'll see you in the next one.